<laughs> tell her HBCUs, boo. That's what I'm telling Ryan. HBCUs, oh, they just, boo. I think she, she wants to go to HBCUs. She's like, they got HBCUs in New York. She wants to go to New York, too. I was like, uh, Oh, man. nah. Fresh sure. out of HBC. <laughs> they don't have no HB. Look, I was just talking to my aunt last night, and she was like, "Yeah, they don't have any HBCUs in New York." It's not up north, is it? No. They all like seven schools. Yeah. Randell, I didn't even think to ask you to bring a, uh, your camera. I didn't even think about it. Tyler zip up his uh, thing. He was so irritated. Distinguished platform guests that we'd like to recognize. At this time, we have Dr. Robin Prentice, principal of Bowie High School. Yay! We have Kristen Danielle Mason, double masters, John Hopkins University, in Georgetown. We have Dr. Marilyn Marino, who is the admin at Bullis School. We have the proud parent. Dr. Jeffrey Holmes, who's the chief of DC Elementary Schools. We have our mayor, the Honorable Ted Adams, Tim Adams, excuse me. Yay! Given our, our DJ, rising Dr. Principal of Carson High School, Mike Gilchrist. And we also thank our good neighbor, Mr. Darius, for providing us with some power. And the Honorable Judge Adams as well, isn't that? Yeah. My old elementary school junior high classmate. Could not have asked for a better day weather-wise. We could not have asked for a better class, class-wise. First, we want to give congratulations not just to our graduates, but to the parents and families, because we know that you all did not get here by yourself. It took some mamas and some daddies, some praying grandparents to get this through. Yes, amen. Many people have said 2020, we want to cancel it. So we're only halfway through, but that's that's not so. In the midst of all the, the tumult that is taking place and going to take place, we do congratulate you graduates for your perseverance. This is just an indicator of what's going to happen in your life because the only thing that's constant in life is change. And this is, think of it as preparation for what lay ahead. You, some say you're Gen Z's, I, I get these letters confused, but you're not just our promise. You're not just our hope, but you are our conscience, and we thank God for that. You're not the class of tomorrow, you're the class of today, because I'm a firm believer. God doesn't give you what he wants you to have tomorrow. He gives it what you need today. And so we thank you for the fire that you have ignited that must not be quenched. So as you change your tassels from right to left, signifying the change in your academic status, just remember, this is just one step of achievement and a mile marker, not a resting place, but a regrouping place. As you move forward to new vistas. Years ago, Alexander de Tocqueville, the 17th, 19th century philosopher, looked at America. And he saw America's dedication to God and to duty. And he made this remark. He said, America is great because America is good. 
And as long as America is good, she will always be great. Somebody may cynically ask the question, is America still good? Is she still great? My answer to you today is unequivocally and resounding yes. See, as long as America continues to produce good graduates like you, who walk step in step with God and fellow man, America will always be great. So my charge to you graduates, and my challenge to you graduates, by way of a combination invocation and a benediction, is that because you have proven you are good, now go forth and do great things. Let's salute these graduates. Woo! As they do great things. Now it is my inestimable honor to present our graduates today. We start out on a somewhat bittersweet note. Our first graduate, Tia Adams, she made the ultimate graduation. So I guess first we offer our deepest condolences to her parents. His Honor the Mayor, Tim Adams, Bowie, her Honor, Sheila Tillerson Adams, her brother and her sister, fellow graduates. Hallelujah, honey. But my Bible informs me, by way of comfort people, that we serve a valley through God and not a valley to God. This is a deep valley, but there is a shadow of light. And we just need you to know that God will walk with you through this valley. It says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. So as we celebrate with Tiara as Bowie confers to her posthumously a Bachelor's of Science degree, we present to us in memory as she has presented herself to God in heaven, Sister Tiara Adams. Let's celebrate this graduate. Yes. And now for those who make this walk, aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Kayla Adams, graduating from Duke Ellington School of the Arts, Washington, D.C. Yeah. She'll be attending Bowie State University. Beautiful. And her brother, Timothy Adams, Jr., also proud graduate of Duke Ellington School of the Arts, Washington, D.C. He'll be attending New York University, though, New York. Yay. I messed these names up, charge it to my mouth, not to my heart. Amen. I'm going to give it my best shot. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ms. Tulawani Akinsuri. <laughs> Academy, graduate of Academy of Health Sciences at Prince George's Community College. Yes. Going yes. to the University of Maryland in Baltimore County. Woo. Yes. <laughs> Miss Karen Cole, proud graduate of Elizabeth Seton High School, Bladensburg, Maryland. Yeah. 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 South to Western Southern yeah. State University yeah. in North Carolina. Yeah. Mr. Tyler Faison, graduate of St. Vincent Pilate High School in Law, Maryland. Going down to Hampton University. Mr. Go Tyler! Another graduate of Duke Ellington School of the Arts, Washington, D.C. He's going to Columbia College in Chicago, Illinois. Nice! We have Ms. Joanne McCoy. Oops. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me black it up. We have Zoe first, McLean. Graduate of the Key School in Annapolis, Maryland. Going down to Spelman College in Atlanta. Yeah. 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 Joanne McCoy. She graduated from Prince George's Community College with an Associate of Arts degree. And she's going to apply uh, Associate of Applied Sciences and Hospitality Management as well. Congratulations, Ms. McCoy. We have Brother Jam Jam Jamil Perry, Bowie High School. Where the principal at? Did he graduate principal? He said you did it. He's going to University of Maryland College Park. Hey, buddy. And last, but certainly not least, Brother Ike Salusu from Bowie High School. He's going to Prince George's Community College in Lago, Maryland. 
These are our graduates. Let's congratulate them. Let's salute them. Amen. Mr. Prince, Dr. Holmes is giving you the honor of turning the tassel. Good afternoon, parents and scholars. We want we've come to the time that we always want to get to at the end of a graduation ceremony where our scholars are able to turn their tassels which confirms them graduates of class of 2020 right now graduates take a hold of your tassels you're going to turn your tassel from right to left do it at this time please if you have a tassel that has confirmed you please 